A food recall to tell you about. Boston Market is recalling more than 100,000 pounds of its frozen meals. People have complained they have found plastic and glass inside. All of the affected meals were made in Ohio by Belicio Foods and shipped to stores nationwide. Here is what you need to look for. A 14-ounce package of Boston Market home-style meals. The boneless pork rib-shaped patty with barbecue sauce and mashed potatoes. These are the best buy dates and lot codes that may be affected. If you think you may have one, call the number on your screen and bring it back, they say, to the stores. Hey, Shalom, Makim, all praises, honor, and glory go to Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shai, Ba'ashem, Rakak Wadash. Double honors to our apostles and elders, a great millstone. Peace and blessings to you, fellow Akim out here, pushing out this word in true sincerity. Now, this is a video, you know, shows 86 tons of Boston Market's frozen meals were called. And this is basically the most I totally destroying and exposing America for the filth, the filth that it is, you know. These frozen foods, these packaged meats, these processed foods, okay, the way that they handle the, the foods, the way that they process them, there's all type of contaminants inside the food. Okay, and, and what's going on since we're in the last days, the Most High, Yah Bashim he's uncovering these things. Because these things have been going on ever since the red Hebrew Edomite, okay, have been making and, and making food, okay, distributing food, okay, these big ass corporations. That feed you Babylonians, you bug outs. Now I work in the health and wellness industry. And pretty much all my clients, they're all messed up. They're totally messed up. Why? It's because they eat the food of America. Now, even me, I, I even got messed up eating the food of America. And I'm so-called, I eat so-called, so-called healthy. I know the foods to eat, so to speak. But just look how many, you know, uh, 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 tons of food. A person has consumed in their lifetime and basically you have heavy metals inside of you. You have glass. You have human, human carcasses, human, actual human flesh, inorganic substances in your body. And this is the reason why it's, it's making you sick uh, on top of the whole world just being contaminated because of the red Hebrew Edomite. OK, and this is what's going on now. This is a uh, boneless pork ribs, but there's many different frozen food okay uh, uh uh meals that are being recalled it says 86 tons of boston market's frozen uh, uh meals recalled now i remember eating this shit when i was younger eating uh frozen foods okay so this, this so what's what's happening is hey man oh like the um the elder uh yashawamba you know he went in on the foods being defiled you know, and basically going into there's a famine. Basically, there's a famine being created by Yah Bashima Shai. Because everybody's getting sick and everybody's gonna boycott these foods, and these companies are gonna go out of business. Because they're not nobody's gonna start buying them. People are gonna start boycotting these different food, these different foods, because they're gonna find out that these things are making them sick. Okay, which you shouldn't be eating no goddamn frozen meals. All right. Nothing but processed foods. None of the food actually gives you nutrients. It slowly kills you. And this is all planned by the red Hebrew Edomite. They're able to practice wickedness because it isn't in the power of their hands. Micah, the second chapter. Let me uh, bring up. I'm going to make this real quick. You know, and it's just it's crazy. You know, that's why, you know, um, waking up to this truth. We, we uh, have woken up to the correct way of eating to the best of our ability. And that's why we we fast. OK, you can do all, you can do a dry fast, which is no food, no water. One to three days. OK, to really uh, uh, stop inflammation from in your body to detox your body. You can go on a smoothie fast. OK, you can go on a, a juice, a juice cleanse. OK, you, you should really be eating the majority of food that you should be eating should be raw foods. OK, I tell people. I tell my clients, eat the rainbow, meaning eat all different types of fruits and vegetables. That should be your main plant based diet. OK, you can't go wrong. Well, you can't go wrong. OK, because even e even eating those foods, those foods are contaminated with salmonella. OK, with heavy metals, with toxic, different chemicals, pesticides. All we can do is pray that Yahweh Shai 
has mercy upon us. That's why it speaks about in Matthew, the 24th chapter, that, you know, uh, that uh, uh, fl no flesh shall be saved. But for the elect's sake, uh, uh, but but for the elect's sake, you know the Lord the Lord is going to come and deliver His people, because if the Red Hebrew Edomite would would continue to be in power, he would destroy the earth, and this is basically what he's doing. What he's doing, he's destroying the earth. So how many people have already eaten? Okay, these frozen meals with plastic in them, and who and who eats these? You Americans, Jake. You black, Hispanic, and Native Americans, you eating pork, which you shouldn't be eating pork. Pork is an abominable food. So not only pork is all messed up because it was not created to be eating by, by it, it was not created by the Heavenly Father to be eaten by humans. Okay. Not only is it messed up, but it's contaminated with glass or plastic. Okay. So this is uh, Nahum 3. If I behold, I'm against thee, said the Lord of hosts, and I will discover thy skirts upon thy face. And I will show the nations thy nakedness and the kingdoms thy shame. Now, this was an alert that popped up on my phone. I was like, oh, man, I got to do a video on this. And who's seeing this? The whole world is seeing this. Because guess what? The third world countries, their food is not as a contaminated as the food in Babylon. All right, because these different countries... They ship food and they import food over to Babylonians to eat. Like a lot of pork is imported, okay, uh, uh, or is exported from China to uh, America. And the Chinese have no standards. They're filthy animals, okay? They're heathens. And of course, they're going to give the worst to you Americans, all right? To cut costs, all right? And this is how these corporations, Boston markets, okay? This is how these corporations make billions upon billions of dollars by exploiting primarily uh, uh, you, you, you Israelites, okay, by giving you the pretty much the filth, defiled bread, actual, actual shit. You will be better off eating actual shit than the food. You will probably be more healthy, okay? But that's, that's, that's in its comparison. That's really what it is. It's actual shit. Excuse my language, okay? But this is what we're dealing with. So the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shema Shai, he, he is uncovering all these things. Because so these things were all kept in secret for a, 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 a moment. But now everybody is sick. Everybody has cancer. Everybody has diabetes. And then people try to go on a, on a, 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 a better diet. And you get, your, you get your, um, your counsel from the Red Hebrew Edomite. And you further get put into... A state of just bloatness, pus, inflammation, a disease state, a dis-ease. And then what do you do? You go to his doctor and he gives you more of these chemicals. All these foods are, are just chemicals. Or you have these high-level scientists that actually study these things. They study the smell, the taste, and they get what's they get, they know what gets you Israelites going. And they manipulate the genes. They manipulate the smells. They manipulate the the, the actual constituents inside the meat. They uh, process the meat, uh, put different types of meat, mix it together, or to create patties and shit that's not natural. You know, we're not supposed to eat like this. As much as possible, brothers should be eating uh, uh, plant based diets, eating lots of greens. Uh, uh, you can eat lots of you can eat radishes. Radishes are really good for your digestive system, for your blood. It detoxifies your liver. You know, it stimulates uh, gallbladder function to be able to break down these different things and create enzymes. You should be eating kale. You know, you should be eating bitter herbs like arugula, dandelion greens. These all the all these things stimulate. These are really these are all medicines for your body. Okay, pineapples. Pineapples are good because they they have uh, um. They have, uh, 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 what is it called? Enzymes. Pineapples, kiwis, papayas, mangoes. These things have enzymes to help break down food in your body. Uh, lipase, protease, okay? These dif different uh, uh, compounds to help break down foods. Now, but you're eating uh, 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 mashed potatoes, pork ribs, and corn. All frozen, because you're so stressed out at work and you don't have time to cook. And this is this is all this is all devised by the Red Hebrew Edomite to extract more money out of you while he's killing you. OK, 
Verse six, and I will cast abominable filth upon thee. So abominable filth is being cast upon America, upon the corporations of America, upon the rulers of America, upon these people who say that they are for your well-being when in all actuality, they're not for your well-being. They are, are here to make a, 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 a dollar. They're here to capitalize off of you. OK, this capitalistic society. And where did they get this capital from? Where were they? How, how are these big multi international multi billion dollar companies that pretty much run the world? How did they get their startup money? How from slavery, from capitalizing off you Israelites. And then they were able to build up these corporations who are filled with what? Israelites at the bottom, work, working, slaving. All right. And who do they sell these foods to? The Israelites. Now, you do have the Red Hebrew Edomite, the so-called white man eating these foods. He is being sick. So even the poor amongst Edom, they're being sick. The low base among Edom, they're getting sick. The low base among all the nations here, they're being sick. It's really all the base of the nations of these different nations are here in Babylon. The outcasts of all the nations, they're here in Babylon. These are the, the lowest of all the nations. Okay. They come here to make money. They come here to, really to be judged by Yahweh Shema Shai. So they're being sick too. And I will cast abominable filth, because that's what the food is, and make thee vile. Okay. And will set thee as a gazing stock. Yeah, you're, you, Babylon has now become a gazing stock unto the world. Every, everybody is sick. Everybody's overweight. America has the number one obesity rate in the world. And this is a so-called first world country where there's plenty of food. There's plenty of running water. These so-called amenities. These so-called goodies that you Babylonians think that these things make you uh, 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 better than others. Well, all these amenities really there are an excess on the left hand side. So you kill yourself. So that's why Americans are the most sick people in the world. And by the way, the medical system, okay, medical insurance is the highest in all the world. So you're the sickest in the world. And then it costs the most amount of money to so-called go to the doctor and get cured, which they do not cure anything. They only treat ailments. So it's all a big racket. It's all a big racket to uh, destroy you. And hey, the water Yabashima Shai for uncovering this thing, all these things. And more food, more recalls are going to be uh, are going to take place in 2019 to the point to where you're not going to even be able to eat food. And that's going to be a start of a famine. OK. Then these companies are going to go out of business because they're going to lose money. All right. There's no there's no hope. There's going to be a no uh, confidence. There's going to be no confidence the word confidence is faith. There's going to be no confidence in these, uh, uh, in, these, in these corporations. That's why there's so many people on YouTube that you can learn from about detoxing, about the foods to eat. If you do enough research, you know, that's why hey, brother, brothers need to be doing intermittent fasting. Intermittent fasting where you have an eight hour period of when you eat and the 16 hours out of the day, you're either drinking like fluids, like water. OK, or teas. You're not ingesting any calories. And that, that, right there, that right there is healing in itself. Uh, Google it. Intermittent fasting. Okay. Like I said, you can go a cleanses to try to help cleanse these, these different toxins out of your body. Uh, uh, activated charcoal cleanses a lot of toxins out of your body. Going on a juice, a juice cleanse. Okay. Celery juice. Brothers should be doing celery juice first thing in the morning. All right, and that's going to help stimulate your digestive system to help break down a lot of the filth and the junk that's in your, your digestive system, in your system. That's compromised because that's one of the number one ways the red Hebrew Edomite, okay, Satan attacks you is through your diet. Okay, because that's how you ingest spirits. You ingest these different chemicals, which what? In turn, they act on your, your hormones, which in turn, what? Demons. Okay. That, that's why you're, you get mood swings. That's why you're depressed. That's why you're, you have anxiety. That's why you have all these evil thoughts, you know. But once you start going on a cleanse, you start purging these things. And like I said, we do these things to the best of our ability. That is why we need Yahweh Bashem Shai to come and destroy this place. Okay? Let me bring that out because I quoted it, Matthew 24. 
Matthew 24 and 22. And except those days should be shortened. Yeah, these, these days got to be shortened. Burgers, french fries, okay, American cheese, curly fries, tacos, hot Cheetos, kettle chips, gummy worms, hot dogs, okay, bacon wrapped hot dogs, shrimp po' boys. All these foods are acidic and they kill you. They're acidic and they kill you. And then when you try to go healthy, the food, the healthy food is two to three times more than the shit food. So there's no incentive to eating healthy, especially when it comes to the poor. And who are the poor? The Israelites. When it comes to the poor, really eating bad is the cheapest way to go. You go to McDonald's, you get for five dollars. You can feed a whole goddamn family of four. And it's not even real food. The bread is cut with different uh, uh, glues and polymers. Wood chips, all right. You get you a, a, a mick griddle. It's not even real meat, but it tastes good because the, it's chemicals. See, Esau he studied the human body. Okay, he knows what gets the human body. Okay, he knows what you're craving. Like if you're craving salty foods, it's because you're mineral deficient. So what does he do? He gives you an over excess of sodium, which does what? It bleeds out your potassium out of your body, and potassium is very necessary in, in creating hydrochloric acid okay different uh, uh um uh, uh different uh works on different systems to create you know a uh, a uh, uh, basically uh, 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 a a a whole a healthy body you know we can get into the so-called scientific but it doesn't matter esau does these things in order to kill you so it says and except those days should be shortened because everything that you eat here is is totally it's destroyed it has it causes cancer and it's not good for you Okay, you're better off eating less. You, they even did studies. People who eat less live longer. Why? Because you're not digesting all these hard chemicals that your body cannot break down. So people, they say that people die with 10 to 20 pounds of undigested fecal matter in their, in their colon, in their small intestines. Okay? And then they wonder why they have all these different diseases. Which is thin of most diseases is what? Inflammation. And that is a curse. So how does that curse manifest? It manifests by the red Hebrew Edomite tampering in the planet Earth, causing mischief, causing death, and making billions and upon billions of dollars off of it while they eat the, the most pristine food, okay? The, the organic food that you can't touch, you can't get, you're not eating. We probably never ate a, a piece of real fruit in our lives. If we, if we probably eat a piece of real fruit, our body would bug out okay you probably drop dead if you actually ate a piece of real fruit or you actually breathed in clean oxygen because these bodies these vessels that we're in are so toxic just you having tight muscles that's inflammation that's uh acidity in your body there shall no flesh be saved yeah nobody's going to be saved esau he wants to make fake meat he wants to actually take a gene from a cow a hair gene and create an actual piece of fake meat. He already, he's already done it. What makes you think that he's not pushing it already behind closed door? All these things are going to come out. Watch. Watch. Yahweh Shemashah is going to expose all of these things. Okay? And who are they going all going back to? Nobody but the Red Hebrew Edomite. He's doing that. The so-called white man. The, the, the self-proclaimed white man. But for the elect's sake, those days should be short. So we don't have nothing, anything to worry about. That's why I said you eat as healthy as possible. Like I'm going to give you a very, very simple. Alkalinize water. Okay. Eat the rainbow as far as the plant kingdom. Okay. Fruits and vegetables. Wa wash your vegetables off. Okay. Wash your fruit off. Eat meat sparingly. Stay away from a lot of these starches. Like I said, do the best of your ability because look, our bodies crave these foods. Hey, my body craved these foods. We've been eating, we've eaten Debbie snacks, zebra cakes, hot Cheetos, Oreos, Skittles, Starburst, okay, double cheeseburgers, triple cheeseburgers, French fries, uh, uh, fried in uh, uh, canola oil, oil, mashed potatoes and pork gravy. We, we, we ate all this bullshit. So that shit is still inside of us, craving, it's calling out to these things. It's, that's why, that's why 
You just get a craving all the blood. Damn, I need that food. And what do you do? You act off uh, emotion like an animal. Because that's what Esau, he studied. And he has turned you people into animals. So the Heavenly Father has to intervene. And he is intervening. Because there will be no flesh to be saved. And that's just one aspect that's destroying you. What about the air? The air is destroying. It's killing your lungs, your respiratory system. The very chemicals inside your house, the, the carpet, your, your bed, your sheets, your clothes. These are all seeping into your skin, all getting into your body. Heavy metals. Okay, you, you swim in the pool. That's toxic, chlor chlorinated water, fluorinated water. So that's why the, the elect are crying out to Yah Bashimam Shai. Okay, let me bring this out. And these are one of the curses that we, you know, are suffering. Ezekiel 4 and 13, and the Lord said, even thus shall the children of Israel eat their defiled bread among the Gentiles, whether I drive them. So we, we've been eating defiled bread amongst the Gentiles. Unclean foods, foods that have chemicals, foods that are not good for you. You know, foods, foods that kill you slowly, foods that cause you to have diseases. But it's all right, Akim. You know why? Because Yahweh Bashim Shai, he has heard our voice. OK. And he's going to, he's about to destroy America. Revelation 18 and five for her sins have reached unto heaven. And this is part of her sins by destroying the bodies of the Israelites by these different foods, getting them addicted to these foods because Two thirds of you Jakes are addicted to uh, Pepsi's, Coca Cola. Why are you why why you drink a Coca Cola, and five you drink a thirty two ounce of Coca Cola and five minutes later you're you're uh, you're uh, you're still you're still thirsty. You're not hydrated. Now if you drink coconut water, you get hydrated. If you drink some virgin coconut water, that's very satiating because it has different minerals, you know, different amino acids. To, to, to satiate your, your need, to go into your cells and satiate your cells. But if you drink Coca-Cola, it tricks your body into thinking that it needs more. So why? So you can buy more. So what? So they can make more money. It's very, it's a very, it's very simple, right? It's a very simple, mischievous way of doing things. And the Red Hebrew Edomite, he's perfected those things. But now the Most High, he's uncovering them. He's uncovering, for, uh, he's uncovering you to be a damn demon. So your sins have reached into heaven and the most high has remembered her iniquities. Reward her even as she has rewarded you. Double unto her, double according to her works. In the cup which she has filled, filled to her double. See? How much she has glorified herself. Yeah, she, she made tons of money off you Israelites by feeding you crap. By feeding you poison. And because of the digital age, this new age, these things now can be brought to light and the whole world can see and live deliciously so much torment and sorrow give her for she has said in her heart i said as a queen and i am no widow and shall see no evil i'm sorry and shall see no sorrow therefore shall her plagues come in one day death and mourning and famine and she shall be utterly burned with fire for the strong is the lord who judgeth her so yeah we have a power that's that's judging america and this is part of it because you're still going to have Stupid Americans, okay? They're going to eat these foods and they're going to be destroyed by them, okay? Then they're going to go to the doctor and then they're going to be destroyed even more because they're going to take prescription drugs. And then when a famine hits, 